Today on the channel, Eris, Chameleon, Freestyle, and Racing Drone. Here we go. That is a ripper. What's up guys? Happy Friday and it is Labor Day weekend this weekend, but we have a pretty fun review here for you today. This is the Eris Hobby Chameleon. This is around a 220 millimeter frame. And what's cool about this frame right away is that it has really, really nice motors on here um, and a really nice sort of coated carbon fiber frame. It has five millimeter arms on here. It has LEDs that are already built in. I'm using the LOL 5 GoPro mount, but you can honestly, you could put just about any type of TPU printed GoPro mount on here. Um, and if you want to record, you will not see the props in your GoPro video. So um, we'll show you some FPV video from this Cadex Retail camera. Also, it has, again, one of my favorite FPV cameras on here. We have another top plate, four volt top plate release, which is fairly trendy in the industry, but also has that same type of purple coating on it, which looks really cool. And I noticed that they used gold hardware all the way around top and bottom, and it's all recessed hardware. You have a 3M sticky pad on the very bottom. It's a bottom mount battery, obviously. And you have an XT60 connector on the very back right there, which generally you want to take a zip tie and zip tie this off so it doesn't get pulled off of your ESCs. We have 40 amp ESCs on here, an F4 flight controller on this baby. And today I'm rocking my XM Plus with the two antenna posts coming out the back from this extra TPU mount underneath this top plate, which is pretty nice as well. And I'm using today some of the props that I've been really enjoying flying. And these are the Nazgul five inch props. I'll try to put a link down below to these. It did come with some different props that were way more aggressive and thicker cord. And a lot of times I like to go a little bit thinner cord when I fly. And that's just my preference. So I don't like to go super fat cord because it, it draws more amps out of the ESCs and, uh, and the motors are just um, probably punking out the battery a lot quicker. So this is going to give me a little bit longer flight time. You can get five minutes on a 4S1550 battery. So that's going to be my battery of choice on this one, but really nice quad. It is also a true X guys, and it is extremely, extremely fast. So um, fasten your seatbelt. We're going to take a really extremely fast flight. And the guys at the field were impressed by this quad's amazing boost power speed and it just it sounds amazing out in the field and it's really impressive to see in person so uh, after that we'll come back and i'll give you my final opinion on the chameleon um, around a 200 dollars quad with really nice components and an extra special frame here we go all right so the fpv flight test let's go ahead this was my first flight with this quad and first thing i noticed was the speed the next thing i noticed was that it feels really locked in on the sticks and there's no over rotation in my flips and rolls so it feels really good i feel like i have really good lines already with this quad so i knew right away that i was going to be doing some crazy stuff with this look at how fast this quad is i mean it's just really really has a ton of control it, it's able to get back on the throttle when I need it, and it will stop and turn on a dime, which is really impressive. You see some amazingly quick yaw snaps in here. Uh, back Yaw snap back to a, a flip there and back down the runway. I mean, this thing is totally dialed right now. And what's great about the Cadex camera is that you can really see what you're doing flying between gaps, you know, trying to get in close to a tree for a tree dive, fairly straight down aggressive dive right there and back down into this little side road around the field and looking for a gap here along these trees boom back up for another snap roll really really locked in right now i just want to keep like throwing the sticks it feels really really good so uh, i'm impressed with it so far and, and this you know eris uh, i haven't heard a lot about this company and they sent me an email and said would you like to fly our quad and i said sure and when I got it, I was 
is nice out of the box. It looks good. So sometimes looks can be deceiving, but uh, what most of this is about is having a quad that flies awesome. This feels like a quad that like a friend of mine would have built to race multi-GP. I mean, look at that yaw snap around that tree. Rewind that and watch that again. That was a really, really fast snap. And the flight controller didn't freak out right there. So it held its ground, didn't have any wobble. And right here, I'm just flying straight ahead for a nice slow tree dive here and back down around. And at this point, I'm like, okay, well, I know this quad will do anything I want it to do. So we're just gonna play around and do some more freestyle for the rest of this flight. But if you know motors really well and you've been flying brushless motors for years and years, sometimes you can tell you have a good motor by the sound of the motor. And these motors sound really, really extremely good in the field. It's a little bump down there, touch and go. No reverse touch and goes with this quad because this quad has a bottom mount battery, but very impressive. I, and I had to go up for one more boost and another tree dive. I'm coming down to the end of this battery. I'm at 14, almost 13, eight right here. Um, and I got four minutes on the Chameleon. So not bad for a, a 4S1550 and getting still lower on the battery now, but man, it's a lot of fun to fly this quad. So um, I'm pretty impressed that, that this quad has zero reputation and it's probably, it should be more talked about since they have a nice frame and it flies good. Quad looks great. It'd be one that you'd be happy to own and it actually performs. So a good combo here. That is a ripper. Guys, that is like, <laughs> I can't even explain that. That was like super dialed in, tight, snappy rolls, super fast motors, crazy yaw snap, and a really locked in tune. The camera looks great. Also, no, no vibes at all. Great tree dives, boost, pretty much everything. Four and a half minute flight. I think if you were just cruising, you could get five and a half minutes on this battery. It's good. And it, the frame looks cool. The whole thing is nice. All right, guys, welcome back from that very impressive flight test. So if you're going to ask me which one should I get, 4S or the 6S version, uh, I prefer 6S because I like that extra bit of power. Now, I was very impressed with the 4S version that I have here, and the, the big difference there is the motor size. Um, the 2306, 2580s are the ones you're going to get for 4S configuration, and then 6S version is going to be around... Um, 1750 or 1800 I believe I can't remember but um, usually below 2000 kV is what you're gonna fly on 6s um, gen I generally don't see many motors out there with higher kV than 2000 uh, for 6s configurations but I thought this thing came like pretty set up and ready to go I was happy that really all I had to do was add my receiver to this but they do have a couple different options on their website you can even get a radio link style receiver you can get the rxsr on there for fr sky and i believe you can get the xm plus as well but uh, i think that the the quality on here looks pretty good i also noticed that on the very bottom they have an embedded beeper which is kind of a cool thing here you can see that embedded beeper on the bottom so the beeper is a full-size beeper and it is extremely loud indoors um, when you're setting it up, it's definitely going to let you know it's there. But out in the field, it's nice because if you lose it in the grass, you'll be able to walk right up to this thing. You'll be able to hear it even when there's a little bit of wind. And speaking of wind, this quad does not care about wind at all. There was a little bit of wind the day I was flight testing this, and it just ripped through the, the wind. So um, really cool components on here. I like the smooth motors, the smooks motors, whatever they have on here. Uh, I like the finish on these motors. You can see... They have their own logo on here and some pretty decent looking stator inside here. And it looks like really nice copper coils, pretty thick, high quality copper inside here. It's not real thin and chintzy copper wire and it looks to be well wound inside the motor here. So a uh, really nice, also um, a hollow shaft through and with a bolt on the very bottom, which I do prefer as well for holding everything on. Now I'm looking for something kind of negative to say about this quad. I, I flew this for a weekend and after 
I was done with my first two or three flights. Uh, this was the kind of quad that I wanted to pull more batteries out of my bag and fly more because of the performance that this quad has. It is just extremely fun to fly. It's kind of like borrowing your friend's Porsche and, and just going out on an open straight highway and gunning it. And that's what kind of what this quad feels like. It's extremely fast. I would say this one's on par with even the T-Motor quad, the um, FT, I believe it was the FT5 that I reviewed on the channel a while back. This one is probably almost as fast as that one, but um, it has a pretty loud report on here. It is fairly loud out in the field uh, when you do go full throttle. So people will take notice of a five inch when you're flying it. Also, they have kind of this cool strap on the bottom. It's kind of like reflective, looks kind of like something you put around your ankle when you ride your bicycle, but um, it's also got a metal buckle as well, which is really nice. I don't see this strap breaking. And I also like the fact that they, with this frame, they made a nice slot on the bottom just below the flight controller and ESC. So you can get that strap through there easily without having to fight underneath your ESCs or, you know, possibly break chips off. I've had some pretty tight configurations before, but this one just goes straight through and that makes it really nice for anyone who owns this quad. But Aris Hobby has a lot of different quads on their site. They, I mean, they even do agricultural drones. Um, they have some ready to fly kits as well. And if you haven't seen them before, check them out on arishobby.com. You can go there and look at all the different quads they have, race quads. They even have some Cinewoop style stuff, some bind and flies. I even think they have, they're an Emacs dealer. But um, check out the Chameleon if you're looking for a, a really ripping five inch. This one is really, really fun. So um, the proof is in the footage, guys. I'm Justin Davis. Take care and have an awesome Labor Day weekend. I'll see you on the next one.